What's up, everybody? James Duggan here with IGN. Joining me, Marty Stratton, executive producer on Doom Eternal. Here at id Software, we're going to be. There's. It's a gorgeous game, obviously, as you can see right now. But we're going to be going over some of the functionality stuff, uh, specifically with the menu. I was really blown away by the amount of uh, options. So why don't we just start with accessibility? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to jump in here to the accessibility options. Um, this is on a, on a console, uh, we're actually on an Xbox One X right now, uh, but uh, we really have taken the approach that uh, we want to make everything uh, something that players can adjust. So um, you can see here uh, pretty much everything that pops up uh, uh, during gameplay uh, in, the, in the HUD is, is adjustable, turning on and off. But uh, something we're really proud of is our colorblind modes. We have all of the typical um, uh, uh, Colorblind, uh, Pteranopia, yeah. yeah, Tridenopia and Deuteranopia. Um, and then once you actually choose one of these, um, you can go in and uh, specifically adjust. Uh, this, is, this is actually the UI um, uh, adjustments here. And in the UI menu over here, you can even adjust the opacity of the, of the UI, um, change, change that uh, to, to, to kind of dial it in. Um, but if you go to the video settings under accessibility, we actually have colorblind rendering modes as well. So not only can you do the UI, you can change the rendering for also Protonopia, and then change, uh, it opens up the intensity, strength, contrast, because we know uh, people have different, uh, different strengths of those uh, uh, of color blindness. So um, you can really dial it in to, to exactly what you want. Um, you know, something else uh, in, under controls, uh, in 2016, we basically just gave you some, uh, uh, some uh, default settings for um, the different types of uh, controller, uh, you can see here similar classic knuckles mirrored strafe um, but what we've added this time around is the ability to completely customize the controller um, much like you can on a, a mouse and keyboard uh, you can assign any any function to any um, any button on the controller uh, so you really get the the type of uh, the, the type of feel you want um, and then you know for for anybody who needs additional accessibility options maybe plays you know, plays with a different configuration than, uh, than, than we would normally think about, uh, they have these options here. So accessibility is definitely half the picture, but as we're seeing with the controller inputs, there is just straight up uh, a lot of functionality. And honestly, the lack of settings like this is kind of what pushed me away from console gaming in the first place. I'm a, a predominantly PC player. So what do we have in terms of kind of graphical options um, on the console version of the game? Yeah, absolutely. You can go over here to the, to the video tab. Um, so, you know, something like field of view is something that's pretty common on, on PCs. We allow you to adjust it on the consoles too, um, from 90 to 110. You can turn on and off motion blur, uh, calibrate if you have HDR, uh, turn on and off chromatic aberration, uh, adjust the film grain. Um, so, you know, some, some, really cool, uh, some really cool video options. Uh, you know, on the UI side, uh, in addition to the colorblind uh, mode, you can change uh, the profile, actually. We have, actually, I'm still in colorblind mode over here. Turn that off, and now I can go back over to the UI. And we have different profiles. Just if you have a, a, different, uh, a different preference on, on what you like the, the HUD to look like, um, and then you can uh, even adjust that, uh, um, where is it, HUD opacity. So you could, you know, you could kind of come to this gray and red profile, adjust the opacity down, um, and you can kind of see in the yeah. game now. Uh, it's, it's much lighter. Um, wouldn't recommend that. We, we've really dialed in the <laughs> HUD for, for um, you know, when Hugo uses the, the analogy all the time that, you know, when you're a race car going 200 miles around the track, you really need the information that we're presenting to you. So it's kind of why we've made the, the, the choices we've made as far as making things uh, really visible um, uh, on the screen. But, sure. you know, we, but, we love you know, customization. For folks who are in their 300th hour of Doom Eternal, maybe they, they just don't need it anymore. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, uh, and, and then there's just some straight up game options that actually have a pretty huge functional impact on uh, what's happening in your game that are not necessarily tied into things like uh, accessibility or the HUD. Yeah, absolutely. Every, I mean, if there's, as I just told you, if there's something that you find while you're playing the game that you can't turn on or off, you know, let us know because it was just a, it was an omission. Um, you know, really you can turn everything on or off as far as anything on the HUD. If you want to turn your compass off, you want to turn off the little thing that shows your key cards, um, interactions, uh, boss health bars, um, literally just everything um, you can turn on and off. You can even, uh, we have an awesome new feature uh, called one-ups. 
um, and uh, they're basically extra lives that you find in the world. You can even turn those off if, if you don't want to have those. Uh, uh, there's the extra lives mode, mode right there, or even turn power-ups off, you right. know? Or dash, um, that's insane to me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know how you turned. I think that's more the dash UI uh, the element. Dash okay. UI element. Yeah, it seems you, like that you would, would not pretty, be able to complete the game without like, dash. Huh? Yeah, that that'd be bad. But uh, um, yeah, tons of uh, e even uh, empowered demons. Uh, empowered demons is kind of this cool passive uh, feature where if if a demon kills one of your friends or somebody in the world, um, then that same demon in your game may become empowered, and if you kill it, you get a, an extra bounty. Um, uh, you see the name of the player above that demon that they killed. If you don't want that happening in your game and you just want literally the straight, uh, the straight gameplay that the, that the designers had in there, you can turn that off. So um, literally, I mean, we've really taken the approach of, of giving, uh, giving players a, a ton of, of customization and allow them to do just about anything they want to with the, with the game. Fantastic. That's, that's really attractive, especially as somebody who's you know, gotten used to the suite of options on PC to see this kind of thing on, on console is really, really cool. Uh, so on IGN this month, you can see a lot more Doom Eternal coverage, including a full preview. So make sure you don't go anywhere. Keep it locked right here on IGN. <laughs>